Hello everybody and welcome back to another Fantasy Wax Melts new releases video. We do have a new release going live today, Friday, November 10th at 3 p.m. Central Time. It is quite a big release because not only is it our first Christmas collection of the year, first holiday collection of the year, but we did or I packaged all of the September pre-order orders yesterday all day long. It took me all day. I cannot thank you guys enough for that, honestly. And therefore, we have pre-order overpour, the snap bars available as well. I put in all of the numbers last night. There are 115 snap bars of overpour, which is really exciting. So definitely be sure to check out that listing that will also be featured under the new releases as well. But other than that, we do have our classic Christmas collection available today. I wanted to do something a little bit more like not necessarily themed but kind of based around more like nostalgic Christmas movies. Like you guys know the ones that are like weirdly animated with puppets, you know, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the um, Year Without a Christmas, like those types of movies. I'm obsessed with those movies. I grew up watching those. And so I kind of wanted this to feel a little bit more nostalgic. So I'm really excited. We have a couple new shapes, or I think a new shape. And yeah, let's get into the scents. I'm super stoked. So up first we have our cookie souffle, which I'm obsessed with these. It is a souffle of wax, and then I have a little wax cookie shape on top. This is called Cookies for Santa. I mean, it's cute and adorable. This is a blend of Mrs. Claus's cookies, vanilla pound cake, and peppermint. Mrs. Claus's cookies is just your classic cookie scent. It is delicious, very vanilla-y, especially with the vanilla pound cake. And then you add that peppermint in, it gives a little bit of a Christmas sparkle, in my opinion. Um, and that's absolutely delicious. So this is Cookies for Santa. And look, it even comes in a gold tin, which I feel like the combination of like the gold, the light brown cookie, and then the red souffle. <gasps> Christmas so beautiful. I'm obsessed. So this is cookies for Santa Speaking of mrs. Claus next we have mrs. Claus's kitchen. This is a new shape this year. I found these adorable Gingerbread house molds. There's like three different designs. This one is my personal favorite design um, It's extra extra cute and like I don't know this one seems a little bit more like I don't know, like it reminds me of like Candyland. It's very cute. So this is Mrs. Claus's Kitchen. This is a blend of eggnog, sugar cookie royale, and glazed donuts. I wanted this to feel very bakery. So like with the eggnog, the glazed donuts, the sugar cookie royale, it's a very rich bakery scent. It is, I didn't smell cookies for Santa. I know what that one smells like. I've been making that one all day, but mm, it's so good. The eggnog is such a hit in this one. I'm such a fan of it. If you've never smelled eggnog, I definitely suggest just grabbing one of these, giving it a try. I promise you it is so stinking good, especially if you're a bakery lover. So this is Mrs. Claus's Kitchen. Next we have Bah Humbug, which I thought was kind of funny. I love Scrooge. Okay, so here's the thing. I like the Disney Scrooge movie with like Scrooge McDuck. I think that's like one of my favorite movies ever. It's so good, but um, yeah, so Bah Humbug, it comes in a burgundy bunt, and this is cranberry zucchini bread. I did cranberry zucchini bread as a freebie for the last pre-order, and I got so many requests to bring it back, so I was like, okay, I absolutely have to do so, especially in a bunt size because you get such a good amount of scent. So again, cranberry zucchini bread. It is so delicious. I love it so much. So that is Bah Humbug. Next we have Let It Snow and I have it in an XL snap bar. This is a really pretty like magenta color. Too like a little bit lighter. Still very, very pretty. Let It Snow is gingerbread cafe latte in snickerdoodle. Say less. I love a good coffee scent. I love a good bakery scent as you guys know. So I wanted to mix them together and make it a little bit more holiday. Mm, and this is fan freaking fantastic. I'm like obsessed with this. This is what I would imagine other than the fact that like Starbucks and most coffee shops typically lean toward like peppermint in the winter time I feel like this is what I would imagine like a winter time Scent to smell like in a coffee shop. Does that make sense? This is amazing. I love this. This is let it snow This was actually like the start of the whole collection. I'm not gonna lie I came up with this idea and then I just the rest of them just kind of fell into place So this is heat and snow miser the year without a Santa Claus is one of my favorites I love heat miser. I really do and so this is heat and snow miser because I wanted to do the orange and the blue And this comes in our mini chunk bag. This is a very okay. This is gonna sound like an odd blend But trust me, okay, just Trust me, put your trust in me. It's red hot cinnamon, amaretto, and espresso, okay? If you like even one of those scent notes, give this a try. Cause it is, it's, it's, it's a little different, but it's amazing. I don't know where I was going with this one. The red hot cinnamon I needed to have for heat miser, but I was like, I need to like kind of tone it down and I didn't want to do like peppermint. I feel like that would be a little, maybe a little weird. Mm. 
but this is so warm and delicious and cozy and I love this scent so this is heat and snow miser so we have making Christmas this was kind of named after nightmare before Christmas when they're singing making Christmas I thought it was very cute it comes in our little gingerbread men shape these are adorable I'm obsessed with these this is a blend of cream cheese frosting cinnamon sugar donuts and zucchini bread mm. Mm -mm -mm. And it is so stinking good. So that is Making Christmas. The Cinnamon Sugar Donuts really shines in this one. The other two are very good base notes. So good. Next up, we have our two-pack tarts in Hermie the Elf. I love Hermie. This is so good. This is a classic kind of like... I'll explain. So this is a blend of sweet lavender, Christmas trees, and vanilla bean noel. This is what I would imagine you would be melting on Christmas Eve, okay? Because the lavender like puts you to sleep and you have the Christmas trees and the vanilla bean. It's so good and it like works so well together. I have not used sweet lavender yet. This is the first time I've used this fragrance oil. I don't know why I decided to bring it in with a Christmas collection, but it's so good. Yeah, these blend so beautifully together. Mm, I absolutely adore it. So that is Hermie the Elf. Next up we have Frosty the Snowman and of course Frosty is a beautiful big ol' snowflake shape. I love the size of these. They're just so chunky and perfect. I love them so much. I think I have like a bias towards them because the mold is so easy to use. It's hard to explain. It's just so easy to use. So this is Frosty the Snowman. We have done this blend. or no, we have not done this one before. There's another one we've done. But this is a blend of candy canes, cuppy cake, and malo fluff. I felt like with Frosty, I wanted to do like a cuppy cake malo fluff blend, but adding in the candy canes made sense because peppermint candy canes, frosty, it all just blends, it all makes sense. So that is Frosty the Snowman. I'm gonna give it a whiff because it is so good. Mmm, fantastic. Fan for fantastic. This one's like just pure candy canes and sweetness and amazingness. Frosty the Snowman, so stinking good. So the one I was thinking of is the Abominable Snowman, which we have in our two-pack clouds. I did light blue. I feel like it's so pretty. Pretty. I was gonna do another snowflake shape, but I was like, you know what? Let's just keep it like this So this is a blend we did last year and it was a blend that like I felt as though a lot of people were really hesitant to get and then every single person that ordered it Was like that was the most amazing vanilla scent I've ever smelled So it's a blend of cupcakes at Tiffany's vanilla bean noel and old town bake shop. It is like the ultimate Creamy vanilla and it is so soothing so good Mm -hmm. it's amazing it's so so good so that is the abominable snowman except we have jingle bells and i'm doing jingle bells in the two-pack christmas shapes so you can get a variety of shapes this one in particular has a reindeer and a snowman there's also a santa a sleigh another snowman i think that might be it i think that might be it for now but this is called jingle bells it's in a beautiful navy oh, i love this like deep blue color after doing the like kind of more jewel tones for the let's blend collection that just came out i'm obsessed with trying to do more jewel tones so like i said this is jingle bells this is a blend of blue spruce peppermint and sugar cookies all of these just like scream Christmas to me, scream the holidays, scream melting it on Christmas Day or every day in December realistically. Mm. This one is so good. This might be my favorite like tree blend. I don't know what it is about the blue spruce, but it is just so stinking good. I'm like very obsessed with it. So this is Jingle Bells. Next up, we have Reindeer Treats. Reindeer Treats comes in a two pack of our donut shape. I'm obsessed with the shape. This is Christmas Cravings. So this was a freebie that went out a little bit ago like not too long ago and I wasn't like planning on using it by any means I just was like oh I'll just toss this in it's a Christmas scent Christmas is coming and I had so many people request for this to come as a scent and I'm like okay sounds good so Christmas cravings is like a clove cinnamon kind of fruity I'm thinking like like it's hard to explain like a baked good like if you go to like a holiday party and like the baked good spread is out that's kind of what I imagine this smells like and it is so Oh, oh, oh. Mm, i'm very grateful y'all wanted this because it is so stinking good so this is reindeer treats and it's christmas cravings and then last but not least we have christmas wish christmas wish i did is a bright yellow cake slice because i really wanted to mimic the scent of like the little debbie christmas cakes so this is a blend of yellow cake white cake and strawberry pound cake this is so stinking good like i was making this one and my littlest like I swear she can pick up on scents so well and maybe it's because she's around all the time and she sees me making wax and she knows what I'm doing but she's like mom that smells like strawberry cake and I'm like it sure do it sure do 
Mmm, it is so rich and so good. It's like the best cake smell. And in my opinion, I think I nailed it with the little Debbie cake scent. So this is a Christmas wish. Alrighty, everybody. So that's going to be it for our release today. It is quite a big one, especially with the overpour. And if you were interested in any of the Let's Blend collection, only one of the scents has sold out. There is still quite a few. We have um, a couple that are very like holiday themed as well. We have Palo Santa, which has like a Palo Santo blend, which is really good. Jack Frost, which is like peppermint and vanilla bean Noel absolutely amazing but of course a lot of those are still available as well and i did say the overpour i don't know it's really early i'm filming this day of y'all it's like six in the morning and i'm filming this so i am so so excited for today's release and i hope you guys are as well definitely be sure to check out our facebook group our instagram and i will link our etsy down below as always and go ahead and subscribe to me if you're not already and i'll see y'all in my next one bye guys